Hi, I'm Mark Chione, Executive Director of Falls Brook Center, and I'm here in our beautiful new location in Glassville, New Brunswick. Over the next few minutes, I'd like to introduce you to the organization, one of our first infrastructure builds, as well as some of our amazing staff. Falls Brook Center has a long and distinguished history as a leading education and demonstration center that inspires people to work together using environmentally sound practices to create thriving communities. We do this by focusing on four program areas. Local food, renewable energy, biodiversity, and thriving communities. While we are rurally based, our work has relevance for people living in both rural and urban settings. Hello. I'm Jed Frazier from Sackville, New Brunswick. I work for a local building company called Energreen Builders Co-op. Our company has 10 member owners. Three Energreen Builders are here at Fallsbrook Center to construct a composting toilet building from locally sourced lumber. Chris Murray, one of our co-op members, owns a managed woodlot where he practices civil culture techniques. The lumber used for this project is spruce and hatmatak. Habitat is being used for decking and posts because of its durability and its resistance to water. The lumber used for this project is dimensional lumber, so a 2x4 is an actual 2 inch by 4 inch piece of lumber. For this build, we have far exceeded National Building Code requirements. I am Rosamond. We're breaking ground. It's our first day of building and our very first building on site. So the aim is for the site to reflect and reinforce the values of Fallsburg Centre. And that means that anything we build, even toilets, should showcase the best practices for sustainability for the area. Ultimately, we hope to design and build up the site to demonstrate the renewable energies expertise, the natural and low impact building methods, and the land stewardship skills that we have, so that other folks can see how they might incorporate those processes on their own properties. And of course, we hope to keep in line with the natural beauty of our new site and the sense of wonder that Fallsburg Center has always inspired. Hi, my name's Scott Robinson and I'm the Education Coordinator here at Fallsburg Center. It's my job to design and maintain the educational programming that corresponds with our four areas of focus, biodiversity, local foods, thriving communities, and renewable energy. I also make sure that our workshops and presentations have the most recent information available and continue to line up with the curriculum outcomes offered at local schools. With the new site, there are an unlimited number of possibilities for us to explore. A huge area of interest from both visitors and staff are the composting toilets. We plan on having a lot of people through the property for field trips, workshops, and other special events. It's only natural the bathrooms will see a lot of use, so we've decided to turn them into something educational. Whether it's learning about the composting process, how the lighting and fans work inside, or the selection of plants in the area to absorb any toxins, it's a great opportunity to learn something new. This is just one of the many things going on at Fallsbrook Centre over the next year. My name's Tim Amby and I'm the Renewable Energy Project Coordinator for Fallsbrook Centre. Renewable energy is one of Fallsburg Center's program areas. As such, we aim to have sustainable energy options for all of our on-site buildings. This new building is an opportunity to not only install a lighting system that is powered by solar energy, but also to demonstrate how renewable technology can be adopted by anyone. Fallsburg Center will be installing the solar PV system at a workshop where participants will learn the theory behind renewable energy installations, and then gain hands-on experience of actually doing an install. The install will feature solar PV panels, batteries, and a charge controller. Hi, I'm Natalie Nadeau. My area of focus is restoring the natural environment of the site. At this time, I'm focusing primarily on the restoration of the wetland. A wetland offers a really exciting learning opportunity. They're nature's filter, preventing pollutants and chemicals from running directly into rivers untreated. The still waters of wetlands allow pollutants to settle slowly to the bottom and gives them the time needed to be decomposed. We try to match this natural type of storage and decomposition with other aspects on site. One example is our new composting toilet system. This system collects and stores human waste allowing it to be decomposed by bacteria and filtered naturally by the wetland. Hi, I'm Emily. When composting waste into humanure, it is important to add only biodegradable materials, 
Never put synthetic chemicals or oil-based products in the toilet. Separate liquid and solid wastes. Make sure the compost reaches minimum temperatures between 100 and 130 degrees Fahrenheit for five to seven days. And ensure a balance of one part nitrogen to around 25 parts carbon-rich materials. Because our waste is very high in nitrogen, we will add a good amount of wood shavings or straw after each deposit we make. Once composting is complete, the product will be a re relatively dry, odorless, and highly nutrient-rich humus. In our certified organic system, humanure is not permitted as a fertilizer, especially in places where it could come in contact with food crops. Instead, it can be spread around the bases of trees in wooded areas, far enough away from gardens so that there is no potential for contamination. FBC envisions local communities working together to create and celebrate a world with strong relationships, a healthy natural environment, and vibrant local economies. We look forward to working with you to make this all happen.